Now, we're never all going to be Tour de France riders, but there's one thing we do have in common with those road warriors, and that's our bikes. We've all got one, but do we really know how to take proper care of them so that they're in tip-top condition for the road? Well, Jack Mullally from Life Cycle reckons probably not. And he says you and your machine will suffer because of it. A well-cleaned and lubricated bike runs heaps, heaps smoother, and it also, um it gets a lot less wear on, on the moving parts on it. So whether you're pulling out the old two-wheeler from months of storage or just want to get to know your bike a little better, a maintenance course will answer some questions. Jack says there's three main areas of the bike we should focus on. Look, the first one that you want to know about is how to change a tube when you're out on the road and you get a puncture. Uh, down your chain, your cassette and your front chain rings so that your bike runs smooth and uh, doesn't get any premature wear on it. Another good one to know about is just how to clean the frame in general, just to keep it looking nice, keep it in good condition. The equipment you'll need to achieve this, some tyre levers, a spare tube and pump, a chain cleaner with degreaser, an old rag, some lubricant and detergent. Do the tricky job of puncture repair. First, remove your wheel. Shift your gears so that your chain is down on your smallest cog. It means there's a lot less a um, lot less hassle getting the, the wheel out through here. Use the tyre levers to loosen and remove the tube and run your hand around the tyre. If you want to find whatever caused the puncture, um, because if you don't, you put a new tube in there, you're going to get a puncture again straight away. Put some air in the new tube and pop it back into the rim and you're right to keep rolling. To clean the chain, you'll need to put your degreaser into this device. Back pedal the chain through the cleaner and the brushes loosen off all the, the dirt and the gun. A quick wipe with an old rag will remove the excess grime before you lube the chain and cogs. And a dash of morning fresh detergent in a bucket of water will look after job number three. Realistically, soapy water isn't going to hurt anything on the bike. So you can do the frame, cross top, handlebars. For regular riders, a clean every two weeks should do the trick. For those cycling less often, every couple of months is all you'll need. It was really good today to be able to see how it's done properly. There's quite a few things I discovered I'm not doing right. Yeah, it's really good to increase my knowledge and have to bring it in here this up. Now, if getting grease on your hands isn't your thing, there's no need to panic. Brooke Laurie is a mobile mechanic who's willing to do the dirty work for you. One thing that I have noticed is a lot of people will not service the bike because it's a little bit of an inconvenience for them to get the bike into the vehicle and be able to take it into your regular bike shop. So Brooke comes to you at your workplace or home, his service is competitive with bike shop prices. I can do a regular service in roughly an hour. I can charge anything from say $80 up to $100 depending on the actual bike. There you go Mick, as good as new. Oh it's fantastic, I mean not everybody's got a lot of time in the day to, to be driving around dropping the bike off so uh, yeah Brooke comes to you uh, and the bike rides off feeling like new so it's uh, really good, really convenient too.